Good morning world. We're back filming a vlog. And what a way to start. We are washing the car. <laughs> a bit of a, <laughs> a bit foamy. Oh my goodness, I'm soaked already. Is that what you wanted to happen? Yeah. Oh right, okay. Car. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is how we wash the car on a Philippine island. <laughs> this is a kind of power wash by the side of the street. Five pesos gets you two minutes of powerful water. And we have stopped here before, but we have upped our game today and Jay's actually brought a bucket with soap. And we're doing a full on wash today. I'm getting a nice spray standing here of the water. <laughs> oh, we need another five pesos. <laughs> Story's just opened the window mid spray. Hello in there. <laughs> and hello from me. I realise I haven't shown my face yet. <laughs> I'm standing on a very sunny, bright, street here we're kind of halfway between our village and san isidro the village is actually called tigasau um there's not much here it's kind of a, just a through road but now we know that there's this little car wash we have been stopping here <laughs> more often we're actually out today we're doing some chores we've got some bits that we need to do we're, we've got to do this we had to just go to the atm and the petrol station which we've just done and now we have to once the car is cleaned we are going to the vegetable shop to do a bit of a shop and we need things like flour and stuff like that jay's just topped up the money again so i'm getting a little bit of a uh, a Sprinkling, that's the word. Oh, we've got seven seconds left. All right, you're out of water again. I really didn't want to wash the car on a day like this. Yeah. So you have to kind of do it in parts. If you wash a car on a sunny day, it goes really streaky, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm having to like rinse, wash, rinse, wash really quick. And this is like the sunniest day we've had for two weeks. Yeah, for ages. <laughs> really bad timing. Yes. It needs to get done. I feel like the car's going to start going rusty. Yeah. If we don't keep it more clean. Because in the salty air on this island, it's like really, really corrosive. And I feel like this car will be dead in less than a year if we don't really pay attention to it yeah. a bit more. The reason we don't do it more at home, because that obviously would be the ideal place to do it rather than bringing out your bucket and soap and everything with you, but our water pressure is not strong enough. And once we've kind of hooked up the hose and let it down the garden, there's not enough pressure to actually wash the car. And I guess we could do it, you know, filling up the bucket old school, one bucket at a time, but that just takes so long. <laughs> so we're, we're trying this method now. Another issue that we face here washing the car by the side of the road is there's cars and motorbikes going by. So when I'm blasting high pressure water into the street, it might knock someone off their motorbike. Oh, it's not that high pressure, is it? It's super high pressure. <laughs> if you put your finger under it, it can cut you. Oh, wow. It's okay. Like really high pressure. Oh, <laughs> well, no blasting people off their scooters. Ready for the next round of water? Let's do it. Okay. Got my five pesos and in it goes. Oh yeah, wow. Ah! <laughs> it does hurt. Wash to wash our car. 
for another week. We completely forgot our own bucket. <laughs> Actually they've got a bucket here. So now we're going to do a fast wash. Yeah. A fast rinse, sorry. A fast dry. Yeah. <laughs> so if you watched our last video, the cost of living video, there's actually not much that you can get for five pesos <laughs> these no. days. But there you go, you can get two minutes of high pressured water <laughs> <laughs> at a, a roadside car wash. Well, looking at the price of electricity these days, I wonder how much we're breaking even on that. Well, yeah, that's true. It's really pricey. And things like car washes, I didn't even add that to the cost of living, but it's like 300 pesos, which is about five pounds. And that's like the same as it was in England, yes. isn't it? For a hand car wash. Yeah, that's true. Which we have done before, but they kind of all just exist in General Luna, don't they? Don't there's a proper car wash up this way. No, and they take an hour at least, and yeah. they're nowhere near anything good, so you just have to sit in the middle of the road for an hour, and it's just really boring. So yeah. just to be able to do it yourself quickly like that, I think if we did it more often. It's something, yeah. isn't it? It's something. So today, and yesterday actually, but obviously we weren't filming yesterday, but the last two days, the weather has actually been lovely we're back to the blue skies the beautiful blue skies and it is actually quite warm today very hot today but in terms of weather the kind of jay just called it the dark zone <laughs> the dark zone of shargal is from like november to april yeah. like april it starts getting very nice here and that's what we've noticed the last few years being here anyway yeah. the, um, wind, the wind has started to die down as of like a few days ago yeah and from april through to november again we'll have paradise weather, Lovely weather on yeah. this island but it's just that those four months yeah if you can get through december to like april yeah you, november november's yeah. always a kind of a bit 50, off 50. and on yeah some days you will get a, a, you know a rare couple of days but generally it's gray rainy windy um, <laughs> and you, you get kind of shunted out of that beautiful tropical green high saturation lovely light kind of days um, yeah but we're happy that we're kind of coming to the end of that now and we're going to be back to those beautiful sunny days every day for the next few months although I don't know if you can tell but I know I'm noticing it but my nose is looking really red <laughs> and my eyes because yesterday they cut all the grass in lots of places I guess because it's the first nice day yeah. and I walked Poppy in the evening and I came back home and I was just an itchy mess like the allergies flared up <laughs> I had some antihistamine that I took this morning um, yeah so like when they've cut the grass and it's dry I was just I couldn't stop sneezing my nose was itching my throat everything I was just like I didn't know what to do with myself <laughs> I went to bed early so yeah, that can happen too. If you've got strong allergy issues, then yeah, it might be a bit of a problem. Yeah, but I'm feeling okay today. So um, fingers crossed it's a one-off. Doesn't happen that often, but it did yesterday. It's so quiet out here today. It was unusual that it's so quiet. We're at the near mini mart. This is kind of like our little konbini. Oh, it's a Japanese word of the convenience store. I'm used to saying that now for places that look like this. It's all air conditioned building. Normally, sorry, sorry stores aren't like this, but we've got one in our town. for life. Look at those teeth. Look at that, standing his ground. Well done. Just four three big boys. 
Leave him alone. <laughs> he won, isn't it? He won the battle. <laughs> this is what the inside of a little mini mart in the Philippines looks like. Pretty much the same stuff you get in a sari story. Lots of tinned goods, lots of like nappies and formula and cereals. You do get some oats, which we come here for a lot, but you're not gonna get any like fresh vegetables or any like pre-packed meals and stuff like that. This particular store has got lots of alcohol as well. I do notice that the school kids love to come into stores like this because they've got lots of like little sweeties and stuff. So it's kind of like a sweet shop as well. But if you want to do like a full vegetable shop and basically everything you need, you need to head further into town. Okay, that's the shopping done. Got big bags full of stuff. We've got basically not much food, to be honest. We did manage to get some flour. We make our own bread these days. We don't normally buy it because the bread that you get here, unless you go to a super bakery, is normally full of like a lot of stuff you don't want in it. And after going to a shop like this and spending like 2,000 pesos on bits and bobs, you realise how little stuff is actually real food. Real stuff. Yeah, yeah it's like there's a lot of like flowers and powders and the crisps in there, the, even like the nuts and stuff. You don't get many whole foods. Mm. Well, not in shops like this, they don't have any fresh food. No. Because they haven't got the fridges. Well, there was a fridge in there, but I don't actually know if it was on. No. <laughs> I don't and think it was. Often the fridges will be full of like, you know, ice creams. And yeah. when you look at the ingredients on the ice creams, again, so not real ingredients. So I don't know, it's a bit of a rabbit hole to fall down, isn't well, it? Well, we're going to the real food shop now. So <laughs> come with us. <laughs> No bananas. What have we got? Oh, we want a talong, don't we? Yeah. Let's get one of those. We don't have bananas. That's all right. We can do with that. <laughs> Sasha said earlier, you can't get much for five pesos these days, but you can actually get five pesos of air as well. This is like to fill up your tires, bicycle tires. So five pesos of water to wash your car. Five pesos to fill up your tires with air as well. And that's not the best job ever, but it's quite satisfying to see a clean car. Give you a quick tour through what Pilar is nowadays. This is one of the closest towns to us. Lots of little stores like this. They've got a little tyre shop here, which never really seems to be open. I never see anyone there. They've got some decent tyres there as well, but one day I'll figure it out. And this cafe here, Ging's Cafe, it's been here since we first arrived on the island, but I've never seen it open until now. Looks like they've got all day breakfast, coffee and smoothies. Mm. Also serve vegetarian food. Espresso. That's the menu. I remember the very first time we drove through Pilar, my mum was still here and we actually went and sat in Ging's Cafe. It was, the door was open, but no one came to serve us. We were in there for about 20 minutes waiting for someone, like calling out, saying, is anybody here? Nobody came to serve us. So since then, I've always just figured they're not open or maybe they just didn't want to sort of customers at the time. Uh, I saw some customers in there today. All done? Yeah, okay. What is that? A pencil case. Oh my goodness. A Japanese pencil case. You find some right treasures in that shop, don't you? Yeah. I found a dress that fits me perfectly. Yeah, the strawberry dress. Yeah. Yeah, I found a shirt in there once as well, didn't I? Did you? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, one of my shirts, one of my favourite shirts came from that shop. But Story is earning this. Fine. She's going to do some chores for us. Is she? Um, how much was it? 180. Oh, you're going to have to do lots of chores for that. All right, let's cross the road safely. So, from this Japanese Hello Kitty pencil case, it comes with crayons to colour with, six colours. Hello Kitty rubber, a pink sharpener, some pencils, and of course a pencil case. Nice, very cool. And why did you want it? I wanted it because it reminded me of Japan. It reminds me of Japan and she said they're great for travelling. <laughs> and me and Story are going to be doing a bit of travelling soon, aren't we? Oh yeah, I'm 
I about that. <laughs> oh, I thought that's what you wanted it. <laughs> Just got some bananas on the way home. Yo, watch your head. There's a load of fish hanging down on the way out. Bargain. How much? Guess. Uh, 70. 52. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> watch out for that fish on the way through the door, though. Get that stuff out of the boot. Hello. You're a very friendly dog these days. You always come to say hello. Love those sounds. I can hear the sound of the sea. The sound of some birds. Peaceful life we live here. It's like Ate Mary Jane is having her car cleaned as well. Same idea. That's another way to do it. Fill up a big bucket. Maybe I'll do that next time. Yeah, there you beast. <laughs> Look at that lovely orange dog. You match the wood. <laughs> You're very natural. Stay here. Don't go running off, you crazy thing. Now, I'm not going to deprive you of this beautiful view. I'll take it in. Wow. Always a wow when that sun is out. And looking back the other way. Beautiful. If you've been watching our YouTube shorts lately, which are our very quick one minute of Shargao videos, you'll know that Story has been looking after a cat. She's been feeding it every day. It's her responsibility to take care of this cat. Now I've said that it's not our cat. <laughs> it's just kind of like a wild cat that's around and she can take care of it if she wants to, but I don't really want to have it in the house and I don't want it to become our pet. Out. Where is Misty? Oh, she's in the garage. She's trying to get her out. What's Misty's middle name? Misty Middleton. Misty Middleton. She's still in the garage. Come on. It's the same food as before. Come on. Do you remember how much that cat food was, Story? Uh, I think this cat food was 70 pesos. You've been using your own money? Yeah. So you've been saving up for cat food? Yeah, <laughs> I want to. I want to not. Uh, I want to try and save Misty from being a mangy old local cat. <laughs> An uncared for cat. You want to make sure she's lovely and cared for, yeah. Yeah, I want to make sure that she has someone to, that a kind of like outside pet owner mm -hmm. to, to take care of her. I just want to know. I just want her to know that I love her. That's very sweet. To be honest, I'm kind of... Oh look, Joe's here. The dog. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm kind of her outside pet owner. Yes. I'm, I'm, her, I'm her owner. No, you're not. You're not her owner. You're her carer. I'm her carer. A caretaker. Yes, it. Hello. Hello. You've got your cone off now. Uh, 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 it's not for you. How good is your boy? So much bigger now when you compare him to when we first saw him. He's massive now, isn't he? Yeah. He's going to be bigger than Pop. And his ear is damaged because he had a bit of a machete accident, didn't you? Yeah. I think somebody accidentally hit him with a machete when they were Nothing. doing grass cutting. Um, somebody was cutting <coughs> grass, or cutting his <coughs> coconuts down, and they were like <coughs> doing, like, <coughs> like, Joa got too excited and went next <coughs> to them, and then got hit by a machete on his ear. By accident. By right? accident. It wasn't on purpose, yeah. He's been in a car and he's been to the vet and I think he's getting better now. Misty. Mm. This is what I don't like about cats. You feed them, you take care of them, but they don't really care about you, do they? Come on. I've got mixed feelings about you. You're very cute, but I don't know if I love you like, like I do pops. Story has gone to get Moon's water ball so he can drink from his own water bowl. And I can see that Shine is following. Shine is the crazy one. <laughs> Hello, you sweet doggy. You're getting big as well, aren't you? You were a tiny little puppy when I first saw you. And now you're grown up. I think you're gonna be bigger than Poppy. I think you're gonna be probably about 18 kilos. What do you reckon? Hmm? It's such a to drink Yeah? Are you still really thirsty? Look, this is good. 
Whoa, big drinker. He must be super hot. Maybe because he's darker furred, so he gets hotter. Yeah. Ooh, I'm hot. Me too, I'm a too. Let's go back home. I think I'll be loud lapping now. <laughs> Let's throw away our food packet, yeah? Recycle that. Yeah. It feels so nice out here by the beach. It's a beautiful breeze. Sasha and I have been talking a lot about how the year has been going so far for us as content creators, as a British family living out here in the Philippines and what kind of videos people want to see from us. And one thing we have noticed is that the days of creating authentic, wholesome day-to-day -day content are probably behind us in terms of like the internet world. Which is a shame to say because we really enjoy staying true to who we are and showing what life can be like like out here and in different parts of the world and just as a family that's doing things a little bit differently we don't really want to create extremes of content just to get viewers to watch but unfortunately the way of the consumer the way of the viewer has changed so much that everyone wants the best this or the worst that the hottest this or the coldest that the most dangerous or the safest nobody wants down the middle of the line real authentic content anymore where you can just talk about how beautiful simple things are which was quite important I think during the pandemic times when everyone realized what we were missing out on by not being able to go outside or not being able to walk our dogs or to you know go and see our family so to be able to create content like what we were doing before daily videos about seeing family or seeing nature or just being able to breathe the air without a mask on was very important to people but now even when we look at our audience we can see that a very very small percentage of them want to see the type of content that we're still making which is sad but at the same time we understand it we know that people have moved on and they're now looking out for themselves they're looking out for what their life could be and they're looking for inspiration and entertainment and because of that if you're not an entertainer on YouTube, it does make things difficult in terms of like getting people to see what you produce. So we were discussing whether that was important to us anymore. Does it really matter if thousands of people see our videos or if tens of thousands of people see them? We need to judge whether we want to change what we do or if we want to just stay authentic and stay wholesome because really ultimately that's what makes us happy and that's what makes us want to create. When we go down a different path, it becomes stressful, it becomes not real. And because of that, we produce way less videos and life doesn't feel as good. That's just the honest truth from us. So today's video, we put it off for a while. We weren't really sure if we wanted to just create a normal day-to-day, -day, what is life like in an authentic sense video. But we picked up the camera and did it anyway because it's important to us and the people that want to see that will see that and we will see if it's sustainable going forward but for now let's just enjoy what life is like out here it's now about half past three in the afternoon and we're about to consume our only meal of the day because Sasha and I have been doing the one meal a day challenge it's not really a challenge is it no <laughs> <laughs> just to see what kind of health benefits we can get from it what have you prepared today i've done a bit of everything this is um the talong salad with coconut i forget what it's called ensalada ensalada talong, talong. yeah this is vital wheat gluten but it's been um shredded and fried with soy sauce um and some spices, five spice and salt and pepper and things. This is pumpkin with a little bit of a caramelized pumpkin with nutritional yeast, plain rice, and then I've made a donut. Very nice. Banana donut. It's banana with flour, and then it gets rolled in cinnamon, sugar. And then these I found in the shop just earlier. I haven't had them before, but they're like peanut brittle. Oh. It's just peanuts with sugar like caramel i thought that was walnuts <laughs> no <laughs> not that healthy <laughs> these are called pinata i think okay yeah 
So it's a bit of a Filipino dish you put together there, mixed yeah. with your vegan skills. Yeah, very and impressive. We've got coffee as well yeah. to go with the donut. <laughs> Isn't it impressive that all of this can be made from scratch at home, including the dessert, the donut, and everything? Yeah, Story's yeah. taking her donut and her snacks off to her room. She's going to have some iPad time. And look who's waiting for scraps. She is always waiting. Classic just poppy. Had the leftover rice. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get any leftovers from us. No. <laughs> One meal a day, baby. We are hungry. <laughs> it is surprising how you can feel totally okay on one meal a day. Yeah. It's like 23 hours of fasting with one hour window to eat. Yeah. And, and we've, we've done intermittent fasting for years yes. before, which is normally 16 hours off eating yep. and then the eight hour window. So we're just giving this a go. Yeah, this is our second week doing it now. Yeah. It hasn't yes. been too bad. No, it's been fine. It actually makes life a little bit more convenient because you don't have to think about as many meals. Yeah. But it would help if we could get the same ingredients every week. Yeah, obviously I'm still cooking for Story as well. So she's still having her big OT breakfast and then her dinner. So it can be a bit like, oh, I want to sit and have dinner now. But That's true. yeah, the, we're like physically don't feel, we're not feeling, um, hungry in a way yeah. like I just said that we're hungry now but I don't actually physically feel hungry I just kind of feel like I want to eat I need, yeah. yeah I need something now yeah exactly no yeah. I'm, you know I don't think it's as challenging as it sounds yeah. and a lot of people swear by it like some people have been doing it that have like diabetes and stuff like that yeah. and they do it for life because it's actually a better way for your body to yeah. continue so yeah let's see what the health benefits are if there are any and we'll let you know <laughs> in perhaps a future regular vlog. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed today. Like I said, we wanted to take it back to that kind of wholesome, authentic, real day life and just publish what we feel rather than something that we felt we had to. And I know a lot of you guys have been missing that. So thanks for watching. We're gonna do the shout out for today. And that is going to Val Christopher Avilo. Thank you very much Val for being one of our members. If you want to be a member yourself, hit the join button and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.